We've just learned that Benedict will be called Emeritus Pope and will still wear white after he steps down next week. His retirement this week is being clouded by scandal as there are no more calls to stop an American cardinal from participating in the election of the next pope. ABC's David Wright is in Rome right now with the very latest. Good morning, David. Good morning, Elizabeth. The process to replace Pope Benedict is now on the fast track. We've also just learned that the deacon of the College of Cardinals will summon the Cardinals on Friday to their first meeting, which will take place on Monday, March 4th. Never before has a cardinal given the conclave a miss because of a scandal, and now there's a precedent for that. So that raises the pressure for some of the other cardinals who've been tainted by scandal, among them L.A.'s Cardinal Roger Mahoney, who for years covered up for pedophile priests. For 24 hours, Britain's Cardinal Keith O'Brien has holed up in this gray house in Scotland. He won't be heading to Rome anymore. The Holy Father accepted the resignation of Cardinal O'Brien. On Sunday, a British newspaper reported he sexually harassed four seminarians in the 1980s. O'Brien insists the charges are false, but that his presence at the conclave would be a distraction. There is another scandal, one that's demonstrably true, that also threatens to be a distraction. I think it is important for us to raise these kinds of issues. L.A.'s Cardinal Roger Mahoney protected pedophile priests for more than a decade. Already in Rome, last night he blogged about his disgust with a culture so quick to accuse, judge, and condemn. Whatever happened to the norm of giving others the benefit of the doubt until hard evidence proves otherwise, he wrote. In Mahoney's case, thousands of pages of documents released under a court order were so damning his successor publicly rebuked him. Nothing's changed and nothing will change. With a new pope, I don't think it's going to change. He's going to be, that new pope is going to be saddled with Cardinal Roger Mahoney. But the Vatican supports Mahoney. So does America's highest ranking Vatican official. He is the first one to have said and apologized for uh, errors in judgment he made. I believe he should be at the Unclean. Pope Benedict himself is having a quiet today. Today, no public events on his schedule. Vatican officials saying he's getting set for his departure two days from now, George. And David, I'm looking forward to joining you around for that in just a couple of days.